Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Elden Ring. And today I'm going to be going over how to beat the last boss in Elden Ring as a naked astrologer, sorcerer, solo, blind. So all those things together. Uh, I'll talk more about that kind of stuff at the end. I just want to explain the fight for people that are trying to beat it first. As a ranged character, as a magic character, as, you know, maybe bow and arrow, some sort of ranged character would be the most benefit out of this. But anybody could benefit from it because I'm dodging. I'm telling you how to do certain things. So, yeah. Um, let's uh, get into it here. Here is Radagon of the Golden Order. So what you're going to want to do here is get through this fight with the most stuff left over. That's your goal. So you're going to have to practice this fight quite a bit and um, make sure to, you know, leave the fight with as many Estus as you can, whether it's uh, mana or HP. Um, try to bring your summons into the next fight, um, all that good stuff. But as a sorcerer here, I'm using Comet on this guy, and that's it, just Comet. It's my most powerful spell that I had as a blind sorcerer. Um, whenever he does that move there, dodge towards him. It's pretty easy to dodge once you figure it out. So you're going to come into the arena, you're going to summon your pets, he's most likely going to charge you with that move there. You're going to dodge towards him, and then kind of roll away. I got real lucky there that he didn't hit me, I was uh, chugging a mana potion, and it, I was just out of range. But you know, let the summons get attention, and then fire magic at him, because otherwise he will block your magic, he will parry it. So if he's just walking at you, he's going to parry it. That one is a late dodge, so when you see his arm start to move is when you would dodge that one. This one here, he's pounding the ground. You kind of just have to dodge towards him um, three times in a row and kind of to the side so you can get out of it. Um, he's shooting those. You just dodge. Um, sorry. Uh, this fight went pretty quickly, so I can't really explain it. I did a live stream. If you go look at the live stream before this one, I explained that fight way, way better. But, um, yeah, on that one, just the main goal is to bring as much Estus and your summons to the uh, Elden Beast as possible. Because the Elden Beast is... You'll get that first one down. And then the Elden Beast is hard. Charge towards the Elden Beast. Get on the side. Cast two magic spells. Maybe three. And then reorient yourself. Maybe untarget and run to his side again. Now chug a mana potion. Shoot one or two times. You can't waste any magic. I had no magic. This is the rain. So you're going to have to keep running to the side. Run as fast as you can to the side. Maybe even in a circle. Um, he's attacking my summons. The big sword strike is pretty easy to dodge. But he did hit me there. Alright, he's doing the gas cloud, so just get out of the gas cloud. He's doing the laser beams. you got to dodge towards him at a slight delay. The first two are back-to-back, -back, so just roll back-to-back. -back. And then the second one, he pauses for a second, roll through it, pause for a second, roll through it. That's the big sword attack, the one I was having the most trouble distinguishing what he was doing, whether it was the laser beam or the big sword attack. I had trouble between those two. He's doing the golden ring, so shoot him once while he's floating up into the air, and then, um, you know, dodge through this ring and just keep going. I actually got hit by it, but it didn't really hurt me, it just slowed me down, so he's going to do a three ring later. Here's the best time to hit him as a ranged character, so once you get this down, just freaking nail him. Four times. Bang, bang, bang. Alright, he is doing the rain again, so we're going to run to the side. Make sure your stamina's full before you start running, though. He gives you a second. Instead of shooting him, maybe make sure your uh, stamina's full. He did the gas cloud and then the laser beam. The... Ooh, that was the big one. See, I can't even tell on video. But I did the right thing in the video. I dodged away from the big uh, sword laser thing. All right, gas clouds. He's doing those. Just kind of take your time there to either take a potion or hit him. I actually got hit by it. I can never get hit by that. All right, the big sword strikes are really easy to dodge. They're real telegraphed. Uh, the gas cloud, get out of it. And always try to stay kind of close to him. You want to be at, like, mid-range. You don't want to be too far away, and you don't really want to be too close, except for sometimes. All right, he is just doing a giant explosion. Just get away from it. Back up, get away. Uh, try to get back close to him. You don't want to be too far away. I'm trying to hit him with magic. I got him. He's doing the fire breath. Just run to the side directly, like, perpendicular. If you go any... If you mess that up, you're going to get hit, because it's pretty close. Here comes the laser beams. Dodge, dodge. Pause, dodge, pause, dodge. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Ready? One, two, three, four. Look at my magic, okay? I have barely any left. I just chugged one. I only got two mana pots left. You would think I wouldn't have enough. I barely do. I run to the side during the rain. He's just doing a big sword strike. Dodge through it. Another one. Dodge it. 
And he's gonna do the ground big pound. Dodge early on that one. I swear I dodged late so many times. That, that was crazy. I'll re-explain this whole fight and the first fight uh, while the credits roll. So if you're not getting it right now, just stay tuned. Um, big old gas cloud. Oh, that's his special move. So at, at half health, he'll do that one. He's gonna throw everything at you and it's gonna be homing and it's just gonna keep coming and coming and coming and coming. And he could do the laser beams while he's doing that. He could do a gas cloud while he's doing that. He could do rain while he's doing that. You just kind of have to dodge in 50 different directions. That's what worked for me. He's doing rain and laser beams, man. He gets really cheap after he gets to half health. He's doing like a, something difficult behind something else. Like he'll do the gas cloud and block your view and then do laser beams. He'll do the rain and then do laser beams. He'll do his big special move at half health and then do laser beams. All right, this is the triple ring. Don't get it wrong, okay? There's, there's the first one, and then this one's three. So you gotta dodge through three of them. And I got hit by all three, except for the last one, which was lucky because I dodged it. So, yeah, those rings just slow you down, but you definitely don't want to get hit by them. Here's the big belly flop, which is kind of similar to rain, except for harder to dodge. You kind of just have to run to the side again. Big sword strike, dodge it. I'm running low on mana, so you don't see me shooting so much, because I need to make every shot count. You will see, I... I I barely have enough. I run out of mana as I win the fight. It's crazy. So I just hit him with that. Just anytime you can get a little hit in is great, but don't do not do it too much. Alright, here comes rain again, so just running to the side in kind of a circle. He's doing laser beams, so dodge, dodge. Pause. Dodge, pause. Dodge. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Now's the time. That's the best time to get some damage on him. When he's doing the, the ring thing is a good time while he's up in the air. And then uh, the, the laser beams. Those are like the two best times to hit him. Okay, he's doing fire. Just run to the side. Run to the side. Perpendicular. You don't want to go like even diagonal. You're going to get hit by it, probably. He's doing the gas cloud. No big deal. Just run to the side. Laser beams. Dodge, dodge. And pause. And dodge. And pause. And dodge. Now hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Okay, look at me running out of magic here. Nothing. No mana pots left. What do I do? I get a big brain and I switch to Carrion Slicer. Here's a giant sword slash. Just dodge when he hits the ground, pretty much. Run up to him. Bang, bang, bang. Run out of mana. Look, my, 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 my staff. I'm out of mana. You see that? Holy cow. That was my last hit. Got him. My rapier would not have killed him. I promise you. It's like does like 60 damage. Um, but we got the Elden Remembrance. We beat it. We beat it finally. That took me like a million tries, so don't get me wrong. Um, Radagon was hard, but I beat him on like my first or second try, <coughs> try, and then the Elden Beast was super hard. But here's the ending. I will shut up while you watch the ending, and then I'll re-explain everything in the credits if you're still here after the ending. I totally understand if you just wanted to get the quick and dirty and just wanted to see me beat it and get a little bit of, uh, you know, tips. But uh, I'll re-go over everything re-explain it during the credits and give my little thoughts on the game and stuff like that so that's why it's a almost 20 minute video because i left the credits in so i can explain everything go over the game and what i think about it and stuff like that the pros and the cons because there is a couple things i didn't like about the game believe it or not even though i do love it but uh let's watch this little cinematic and uh i'll shut up this is the ending i got The fallen leaves tell a 
story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord in our home across the fog the lands between our seed will look back upon us and recall all right check this out right here where'd they go where's my panties no panties I took mine off for the beast clergyman because uh, it took me so long and I got so excited and my character took off her panties for the Elden Beast because that was a hard one too. If I had to rank the bosses for me as a sorcerer, like the hardest to the easiest, I would say Elden Beast was probably the hard. No, Fire Giant. Fire Giant was the hardest. I had to cheese it. I had to poison it and cheese it. So El uh, Fire Giant was the hardest for me as a sorcerer. Remember, a naked, blind, solo sorcerer, astrologer. So I'm not finding the best spell in the game by looking it up. I'm not finding the best talisman in the game. I'm not finding the best summon in the game. I'm not doing a, be a bleed build with rune farming techniques to get my HP to a million. I'm not getting every single golden seed and getting a million Estus. You know, I just found what I found. Didn't look anything up. And that's what I happened to have there at the end as a sorcerer. So, that's why it probably took me so long. But the Fire Giant was the hardest out of everything I fought. Had to cheese it with the jellyfish and do the poison strat. Go check that video out if you need help on that. Um, second hardest was probably Elden Beast. So, two of the last bosses, of course. Third hardest was the um, Putrid Tree Spirit in the Warded Catacombs, believe it or not. And then the fourth hardest was probably the Beast Clergyman for me. And I can't think of what the fifth was, but that'd be my top four. Fire Giant, Elden Beast, Putrid Tree Spirit, and uh, in the War Dead Catacombs, because the arena was super small. And then um, Beast Clergyman. Those are my four hardest bosses as a sorcerer, as an astrologer. But I got about seven minutes to go over like my thoughts and, and redo that. Um, so yeah. Radagon of the Golden Order. You're gonna... I had Beast Azula. Azula Beastman as my summon. I had him at plus ten. I had my staff, plus ten. I had my headpiece. I wasn't totally naked. I did have my headpiece. They give me, like, extra intelligence and whatnot. I'm a sorcerer. Other than that, I was naked. I had, like, nine or ten mana Estus. And then I only had, like, three or four um, HP Estus. Because you got to, like, get really good. That's I need, And you saw me use every single piece of my mana, and I barely ever missed. So I needed nine or ten to beat it. I used Comet exclusively on Radagon. So at the beginning, you, you summon... Get your summon out as quick as you can. And then your whole whole idea of that fight is to get let the summons get the attention of Radagon and then hit him in the back with the comet. But hit them enough to where your summons don't die. Don't let them just die there. You gotta like do the thing. If they got the attention of him, you have to hit him. As much as you can. But don't waste any spells either. Like it's a very delicate balance. So his moves are like he has the charge move where he charges you with his with his club or whatever it is, just dodge towards him. Okay, he's got the lightning bolt where he jumps up in the air and throws the lightning bolt. You kind of just uh, delay a millisecond and then dodge to the left or right. You know, as he throws it. You know, when he's up in the air with it, charging it, you don't dodge. But when he, like, moves his arm is when you dodge to the left or the right. Um, he's got the one where he, like, just flicks magic at you. I just kind of, you know, hit the roll button. Usually he does that twice in a row. Um, what else did he have? The ground pound. So he'll, he'll he like, kind of telegraphs it. So he'll pound the ground and you kind of dodge towards it. And to the side. That way you can get out of the area of effect. And then he'll do it again. You could dodge to the side and towards him. Get out of the area effect. And then the last pound, he like goes... He takes a long time to go up in the air. He's going to pound the ground hard on that last one. You can actually hit him with magic while he's charging that one up. And then still have time to dodge. And then make sure you hit him after that too. Uh, what else did he have? Don't ever let him get close to you. If he gets close to you and just starts swinging his club, then you're going to get wrecked so never let radagon close to you get the summon let the summons get the attention and then hit him in the back with comets that's basically how you beat radagon all right and then beat him as quick as you can like beat him as best as you can with as much estus left over as much mana with the summons with your mixed physic which i use the defensive mixed physic they're both defensive like i could they're like basically a barrier an extra hit so an extra health potion basically 
So I took both summons into the, that fight. I took like seven mana potions into that fight with Elden Beast and like all my health potions because I wrecked Radagon. I got really good at it. Just get really good at it. Okay, Elden Beast, run straight towards him as soon as possible, like before the loading bar even gets done. You're running towards him and holding in the, the run button. Get on his side, hit him a couple times, two, three times on the side. On target and then run to the side again because you're, you're camera is going to get all out of whack and he's going to shoot fire so you got to kind of take your camera off and run to his side again use that time to either take a mana pot or hit him two or three more times probably usually one or two um if you're low on mana like you only have a little bit make sure you do a charged attack if you have time because it like it's good it's mana efficient um then once that happens he's going to duck under the water he's going to come up and do whatever he's going to do it's never the same so the gas cloud's really easy to dodge you just go to the side and it gives you time the fire's not easy but as long as you're running perpendicular at full speed it won't hit you the same with the rain he has a tell like the rain is an easy tell he's just like he like shoots you can tell when he's doing the rain so you just run to the side or in a circle or in a big circle not like a tight circle like a big circle just run full speed to the side or in a circle on that rain um the big belly flop is just another rain move it's a little bit harder to dodge but still kind of the same thing um what else the circle i'll do that at half i think half right no he'll do that whenever like he'll do the one ring but you can tell when he's doing it man he charges up he goes up in the air you can even hit him with a charged hit while he's doing it then just run full speed in any direction you want to and then anticipate the ring and roll through it kind of at a diagonal that's the way that was working best for me even though you saw me like kind of screw it up on that fight all it does is like slow you down so then the explosion hits you so you might even be able to jump over it i never tried but i roll through it and then you just keep going and then you'll get out of the big explosion. Um, you know, he's got that half health thing. That was the one that was really kicking my butt. Like, I would get him to half health a lot. And then he would kill me with that thing. Whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what it is. It's like his special move at half health. You know what I'm talking about. Like, a bunch of comets that are homing comets. While he's doing other stuff. That's what sucks. Depends what he does while he does that move. While that move is still lingering and homing after you. Depends what he's doing. If he's over there just swinging his sword, then you're going to be fine. If he's doing a gas cloud, you're probably going to be fine. But if he's doing the laser beam sword move, you're probably screwed. Or the fire or something. So that one, the half health special move, I just dodge like to the right and then back and then forward and then left and then right and then back and then forward and then left. Like in all different directions so it couldn't really get a bead on me. But all the while, like keeping my eyes on him to see what the heck he was doing. So that's his half health move. Then his 25% is the three rings. So you got to remember, don't think it's just one ring. And that's your cool after you go through the one ring. There's three of them. So you got to keep going. Make sure you dodge through all three. That way you can get out of the explosion. After that, just, you know, mana efficient. Don't waste any mana. Don't shoot from too far away. Don't, you know, just don't waste mana. Make sure you, you, can, you have enough to kill him. But that was the main way. And the best way, time to hit him is on the laser beams. Dodge through the four laser beams. Hit him four times right back. And then on the, um, like when he's floating up in the air to do the rings, that's a good time. When he's about to do rain, if you can catch him early on that, you can hit him and then run from the rain. Pretty good times to hit him. But anyways, my thoughts on the game, I only got like 30 seconds. The worst thing about the game is the targeting system. I hated it. Like that one trigger button has like three different things it's responsible for. And it would always untarget. It didn't really happen in that last boss fight. But in other boss fights, it would keep untargeting and making me look at the wall, like making me look at the ceiling. Like, just for no reason, untargeting. I hated that. But otherwise, the game is amazing. I love From Software. Big open world Dark Souls. You gotta love it. I still want to play it. There's still bosses I haven't beat. But yeah, I beat it as a naked, solo, no help, from guides, from other people, nothing. Totally blind, sorcerer, astrologer. So, yeah, I thought that was really cool, and uh, hopefully I helped somebody out there, at least gave you some entertainment. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot to hear. Get about the channel comment below, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.